So hey guys, Adam here at DirectionTrader.com. Let's go ahead and do the trade of the day video here. Uh, it's going to come in the S&P, and it came late, but uh, it's a very clear winner. Um, you know, on today's video, it's going to be a very clear winner of the trade of the day, and we can explain and, and learn a little bit from it as well. Um, it came later on the day. After yesterday's sell-off, you can remember, um, uh, last night's video, I talked about Watch for today to have a little bit of a pop to the upside before ultimately selling off down around that 1720 range. We got the initial pop here on this S&P, but we've been in this sideways chop, guys, over and over and over today. Sideways chop. You can see these ranges here. Sideways chop. You see this sideways chop that we're talking about here? Um, these highs were just chopping sideways between this 42 and this 48 range, pretty choppy market all day. And we've been just patient and patient and patient in the trading room, just waiting for a break. We got it, but it didn't come until later on. Um, as you can see here, we didn't get this trade until later on. The trade actually came right here at about 8.45, 8.46 time frame is when we finally took this trade and it was an obvious winner. Now, as you can see my cursor, right here on the on the S&P chart here, you can see 847. But if you look over here to the left at the tick chart and at the uh, advanced decline here, you can see the advanced decline had gotten some momentum. We were starting to push to the upside. The tick chart had made a low and it made a new high here. So we were ready to go. We said, all right, this thing finally got a little thrust here. We took a pullback, pretty standard move, guys. And it took for a while, it took a while for this to actually play out. You see, we got in at 45, and we uh, we actually didn't hit final targets until right at 9 o'clock. Um, I know that's only 15 minutes, but whenever we're only looking for two and a half points, um, that took quite a while to get that two and a half points. We actually went through a lot of ups and downs here as I zoom in. Um, you see, we got in right in this range. We popped up, we pulled back, and it sat right here for about five or six minutes, just chopping back and forth before ultimately just, you know, go ahead and shoot to the upside. We went through a lot here. You see, this is where the tick was whenever we entered. We, we wanted it to pull back with our, with, with, our, with our rules saying it needs to stay above zero. It really does. Here you can see the zero range. Needs to stay above zero. And as we had a little push up here, we pushed down. And then we were starting to make lower highs, but yet we did not break through the low. So we stayed with this. We knew even though this thing was pulling back, looking like it wasn't going to push higher, we we're looking at the internals, looking at the advanced decline, still eking its way up at the time, still slowly eking its way up. So we stayed with it. We just left our stop here, uh, ticked below these lows, and we just had our target set up there at the 50s. So ultimately, we had to wait, 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 wait. Patience paid off, and we obviously, uh, with the momentum going to the upside, we stayed with it since we were on the side of the momentum. We stayed with this, and as long as this tick didn't break below zero, we were going to stay with it. Sure enough, we got that pop to the upside for a nice little profit here. Um, trade came right here at about, like I said, came right at, I'm on the West Coast, so it came right at 845, and we took, took profits right here at the 50s. So... Uh, nice little trade, guys. Went through a little bit of a, um, a little bit of a pause here, but ultimately the market was breaking to the upside. We had the tick breaking to the upside. We had the advanced decline pushing to the upside. So this little shake that we've seen right here didn't get us out of it. It just uh, we held patient, held discipline, and waited for the overall market to to continue to push higher. So that's the trade of the day, guys. If you have any questions? Let me know. Hit me up, Adam at DirectionTrader.com. If you want to come see me do this live every day in real time, you see I have my dome on the screen right there for you to watch me trade live. Uh, come take a trial at DirectionTrader.com. Have a good day, guys.